WHS data and evidence, obtaining, reviewing and updating. WHS data and evidence needs to be obtained from a variety of internal and external sources in order to improve procedures and practices within a workplace. Once data has been obtained, it needs to be reviewed by the WHS committee with practices being implemented for workers and them being updated in relation to the changes made to the workplace. So we basically need to make sure we're constantly getting data about WHS that applies to our workplace. We are reviewing this data, seeing what it's all about, and then obviously changing our workplace practices so that they're at their best possible state based on a data informed decision. So the first thing we mentioned here was talking about internal and external sources. So internal sources are things such as formal reporting that takes place in the workplace. So all internal sources are within the workplace. So these could be things such as incident reports, meeting minutes and audit documentation. They are all stem from our actual workplace. So we need to review these and see, okay, what kind of things have happened in our workplace and then what changes need to be made. Okay, based on that. But it could also just be obtaining feedback in general from our workers. We might give out surveys and interviews to our workers and ask them about their uh, safety in the workplace and how they feel as a part of the consultation and participation process. Okay, in order just to obtain feedback from there. So that is all data generated from our workplace and that's what makes it an internal source. Then we have the external sources, and this might be research and data obtained from government departments, unions, or professional associations. People constantly looking at safety at a, potentially an industry level, okay? Uh, what, and getting updates from them based on their research and data they've accrued over time, okay? Um, and this also includes updates as well in relation to legislation and codes of practice. With government departments, as I've said there, that would include things such as Safe Work New South Wales too as an external source. Okay, so those external sources of data that impact our workplaces and are a great source of information, we should refer to them in order to keep our data up to date as well. So we need to look at, as we said, internal and external sources. So now we need to go through the process, okay? What does this look like? Why do we need data and evidence? How do we use it effectively? So how does this process look? Well, firstly, we need to get the data. We obtain the data from the internal and external sources. Okay, once we've gathered that data then, we need to review it. So the WHS committee might get together, okay, and they review the data and they make decisions based on the evidence they've gathered within that data. What are we looking at here? Are our policies and procedures working? What needs to change? What new information is there? That all occurs in the review process. They, uh, the PCBU might be a part of the committee or they might take it to the PCBU after the committee have met together with the HSR sitting down with the PCBU. But then they essentially are reviewing the data at that point and they're making decisions based on that data. Once that has been approved, we then need to update. Policy and procedures need to be updated. Based on the new data, we are changing the way we are doing things in the workplace. And then with that change, the general workers need to be updated and essentially trained in the new practices. So they are now doing these uh, correct practices and following the correct policy in response to the new data we've obtained. So workers, policy and procedure all then get updated. Now, obviously, this is not the end of the line. This is an ongoing practice, okay? There's always gonna be new data coming into the workplace. And as a result, policy and procedures will need to change. So this is a cyclical process of gaining data, reviewing the data, and then updating policy and and procedures in accordance with that data. So I hope this video has given you a good understanding of the importance of WHS data and evidence. Okay, we need to be gathering it based on what's been going on in our own workplace through internal sources and contacting and getting data from external sources as well, such as Safe Work New South Wales, unions, professional associations, and being aware of changes to legislations and codes of practices that obviously impact our workplaces so that we can ensure that we are fulfilling our legal obligations as well, but doing the best possible practices in our workplaces in order to keep everyone safe.